Hello, this is Alex Ruthman, and today I'm going to show you uh, something I've been working on here in Australia with Andrew Sorensen and Andrew Brown at the Queensland University of Technology. Uh, they do, uh, they've developed a program called Impromptu, and which is basically an environment where you can code compositions, and they do a lot of live coding where they actually start with a blank piece of paper and start writing code, which then um, computer programming code which then is turned into musical sound and um, what I'm going to show you today is a model of Arvo Pert uh, based on his Stabat Mater and I'm just going to play a little bit from uh, the code here where Andrew Brown starts uh, within the impromptu environment and then I'm going to show you the same uh, or not the same but it's very similar code in Scratch so I'll give you a little bit here so you can see what the code sounds like So that gives you a little excerpt of what uh, and of the musical sounds that Andrew's code uh, creates. And now we'll take a look at Scratch. And uh, basically, what I've done here is I've defined a few variables and a couple lists. One of the lists is over here on the right, which is an Aeolian mode pitch set. Uh, I have three counters for three different parts, and then I have a rhythm set here, which uh, consists of uh, duration of a beat, another duration of a beat, and duration of 0.5. Uh, actually, with this, what I end up doing is I create a random uh, set of beats, either half a beat or a full beat, and it prefers uh, two full beats to one half beat as that goes. So basically, when uh, the button is clicked, it sets the tempo to 30 beats per minute and sets the instrument to MIDI note 43, which is a cello. And then over here, I've set... Uh, three different parts, if I zoom out here, uh, three different parts that each play whenever I press a one key, a two key, or a three key. I could have set that up in code, but for the sake of this uh, and for experimenting with what sounds good, I thought I'd leave it um, set up for interaction here. So actually, uh, the composer performer here within Scratch sets a um, sets the first uh, voice in play and then sets the second and the third, etc. So basically, let's take a look at the code. In a forever loop, uh, I set the counter to 1 to start with, and then I repeat 8 times, which is actually through here. So I set the counter to 1 of the pitch set, and then I have it do that, do that 8 times to cycle through the descending Aeolian mode pitch set, which is basically a natural minor scale. And so it plays the note, is the function, and it does item, uh, the variable counter of the pitch set. Um, so basically, I take the counter item here, the notes that are in the uh, um, Aeolian pitch set, it steps through them, and it adds uh, an offset, which here is 72. Um, and that is where I get the first pitch, and it cycles through that eight times. And then it assigns, again, as I mentioned before, with pitch set, item any of rhythm set. So rhythm set, again, has those three values, and it assigns it one of uh, a random value of those three. And then when it gets done with that, it changes the counter by one, incrementing it up eight times. And then once it gets done uh, with the pitch set eight times, it then goes back to the forever loop at the top and resets the counter to one and starts the descending scale again. So whenever I press one, uh, the Aeolian scale starts uh, what it, the pitch plus whatever the offset is and starts descending. And then when I press two, an identical 
uh, alien scale comes in, but you notice I have the offset at 60, so it comes in an octave lower. And then when I press 3, uh, it's a similar thing. Again, I had to set up individual counters for each one uh, to step through for each one of those functions. That's why there's counter 2 and counter 3. And then there's an offset of uh, 48, which actually then is two octaves lower, or one octave lower from that. So I'm working with that. So let's set it into play and hear the scratch version. So I'll hit start here. And now that it's clicked, it's waiting for me to key in the first note, first uh, thing. So I'm going to set this here, and I'm going to press the first one and key it in as musically as I can. I'll go ahead and hit stop, and we'll try another version of it. Hit start again, and I'll press 1. And there you go. Here is uh, some of the al here are some of the algorithms behind uh, some of the music that Arvo Pert composes. Uh, uses very similar kinds of uh, approaches to crafting the composition, and you end up having a code representation of uh, some of the techniques that the composer uses. And we'll be exploring this further and setting up other controls that further do it. Uh, another thing that I can do live, which is nice with this, is when the, when the code is operating, I can go in and change those offsets um, and add more variety with that. So here's an opportunity where you can use code in Scratch to create a framework for a comp composition and then manipulate it live. So it's not completely computer created. There's also some user interaction, which I think is really cool. There you go. Thank you much, and we'll see you soon.